Hi you guys, it's me Heather again. So I'm gonna read to you a little bit more about laws that are being broken here for us. And um, so the next thing I'm gonna read about is from, it's actually from the California legislator.government website. So this actually only applies to electronic torture victims and targeted individuals out in California, just so you guys know, okay? But anyways, um, for those of you who are, I'm going to read this to you, and for those of you who aren't, you should check with your own individual state legislators. Uh, make sure you go to your own individual state's government website and just type in invasion of privacy, you know, or whatever rights you think are being violated and go ahead and write them down. Do your own video about them, you know, just for your reference or to tell law enforcement or whatever you want to do with them because these people are breaking several laws, multiple laws, like it's ridiculous, like this isn't even the tip of the iceberg, you guys. So anyways, okay, so chapter 1.5, Invasion of Privacy, 630 through 638.55. 630, the legislator hereby declares that advances in science and technology have led to the development of new devices and techniques for the purpose of eavesdropping upon private communications and that call the invasion of privacy resulting from the continual and increasingly or increasing use of such devices and techniques and has created a serious threat to the free exercise of personal liberties and cannot be tolerated by a free and civilized society. I mean, as you know, this is totally uncivil, and of course we don't feel free. I mean, personally, I feel like my mind's in prison all the time, pretty much. It's horrible, you know? I feel like I'm trapped like a rat, you know? It's awful. I mean, I, I still have my freedom, you know? They can't control what I do, but they can, they can control my mind most of the time, and... That's just the most horrible thing about this, you guys, and, and people just want to, like, label us as crazy and schizophrenic and that our brains just make up voices. That's not true. That's not true at all. It's not. Okay, anyways, um, continuing on. Uh, the legislator by this chapter intends to protect the right of privacy of the people of this state. So we do have our right to privacy, and... This whole electronic torture, targeting, mind control thing, that's an invasion of our most innermost privacy, our thoughts. That's 100% a fact. Anybody that wants to argue with me, go ahead and leave your arguments in the comments. I will just shoot you down. Okay, anyways, uh, alright, so 631A. Any person who, by means of any machine, instrument, or, or contravance or in another manner, manner intentionally taps or makes any unauthorized connection whether physically, electronically, acoustically, inductively or otherwise with a telegraph or telephone wire, a line cable or instrument including a wire line cable or instrument any telephonic communication device system or who willingly and without consent of all parties of communication while the same is in transit or passing over a wire line or cable or is being sent from or received at any place within the state or with or with employees or conspires with any person of persons to unlawfully do or permit or cause to be due to any of the acts or things mentioned above in this section is punishable by a fine not exceeding $2,500 or by imprisonment in the county jail not exceeding one year or by both the fine and imprisonment. All right, so 632A. A person who intentionally and without the consent of all parties to a confidential communication uses 
and electric amplifying or recording device to eavesdrop upon or record the confidential communication, whether the communication is carried or amping, sorry, um, I can't read my own handwriting sometimes, or, oh, I'm sorry, or among the parties in the presence of one another or other or of a telegraph telephone or other device except a radio shall be punishable by a fine not exceeding $2,500 per violation or imprisonment in a county jail not exceeding one year or in a state prison now these people are using cell phones cell phone towers computers and direct energy weapons okay so those are all electronic communication devices right it's illegal it's really illegal you guys all right all right so penal code section 637.7 a no person or entity in the state shall use an electronic tracking device to determine the location or movement of a person whether the communication is carried on oh sorry that was the wrong page, you guys. I apologize for that. All right. Um, uh oh, where did that go? Sorry, you guys. My notebook is extremely disorganized. Um. Huh? Where did the rest of that go? Entertainment is sometimes the excuse by which these people perpetuate oh. their selfish hopes. Okay, that's where it ended. Sorry, you guys. Probably just going to spit this video out, too, because it's stimulating my mind, and I'm just so tired of this. I know we're all tired of this. You can probably tell I'm tired of this just by looking at my eyes. Um. Okay, so continuing on. Sorry about that. I messed up. All right, so... Now this is chapter two, Mayhem. Uh, two, let's see, okay, Mayhem, chapter 23, 206. Okay, so 206. Every person who, with the intent to cause cruel or extreme pain and suffering for the purpose of revenge, extortion, persuasion, or for any sadistic purpose, inflicts great bodily injury as defined in section 12022.7 upon the person of another is guilty of torture the crime of torture does not require any proof the victim suffered pain so this is what i was talking about in the first video about our rights we don't need any proof of being tortured we could automatically have these people arrested okay without any proof we could just be like, hey, this person's torturing me and I want you I want to press charges and I want them arrested. And then the police should arrest them. Period. No questions asked, alright? Okay, so 206.1. Torture is punishable by imprisonment in the state prison for a term of life. Now, just to remind you guys, this applies to California law and regulation. That's the punishment for torture in California it's life imprisonment life imprisonment you guys so once again if you're from another state look up your governmental laws on torture see if you need any proof see what the punishment is it could be very similar I wouldn't doubt it because torture in my opinion is the worst crime ever it's I, to me it's more hor horrible than any other crime period especially this type because it's 24 hours a day seven days a week and the worst thing about it is society tries to label us as crazy like this is a natural mental problem like it's genetic come on people are you serious we're not stupid okay we aren't okay so, this is from justice.gov. All right, so, with the widespread use of computers and mobile devices, 
Offenders do not need to physically locate a target or leave the comfort of their dwellings to harass, intimidate, and destroy the lives of their victims. Now this is true. These people, they can just sit they can just sit on their couches at home and do drugs and torture us to death. Like or try to, in my case, because I am refusing to submit to that because frankly, I'm really young and I don't feel like dying yet, okay? So anyways, uh Yeah, but they are tracking us too and they track us through the Verichip because that's a tracking device. So that's what I'm going to talk about next, okay? For all you voice to scholars out there who are hearing voices, your brain's not making them up, you're microchipped, okay? That's the big secret, you guys. It's the big secret that a lot of people don't really talk about. A lot of people might be scared to talk about it, guess what? I'm not. Okay, so continuing on. Um, Okay, so I'm not getting to the very chip quite yet, but okay, this is from law.cornell.edu, which is another reliable website. All of these laws and regulations that they're violating and constitutional rights, etc., they're all from government websites. They're all from trusted sources, because guess what? I have an associates in biology and I taught how to and I was taught how to do research and how to look for re reliable websites, you guys. Okay, so anyways, examples of electronic surveillance include wiretapping, bugging, videotaping, geolocation tracking, such as via RFID, which is a Verichip, GPS, which is your cell phones, or cell site data, data mining, social media mapping, which could be your Facebook, and the monitoring of data and traffic on the internet. All right, okay. So now, here's uh, from ACLUNC.org, and this is about the RFID law signed into law back in 2007 in California, where I live, okay? All right, so... California RFID law signed today by the government on, or excuse me, the governor, sorry you guys, on October 12th, 2007. State Senator Joe Simishian, a Democrat from Palo Alto, signed Senate Bill 382, which was also signed by Governor Schwarzenegger, and quote unquote, prohibits employees and others from forcing anyone to have an RFID device implanted under their skin. And this is effect this was effective January 1st, 2008, you guys, 2008. This was a while. That's 12 years ago. All right? All right, so RFID tags are tiny chips with miniature antenna that can be embedded in almost anything. Using radio waves, RFID can help identify and track objects, animals, or people, like myself. All right, um, oh, and this is something uh, the Democrat of Palo Alto, Joe Simishian, said, and this is a quote from him, but we cannot and should not condone forced tagging of humans. It's the ultimate invasion of privacy. There you go, you guys. He wasn't stupid either. Okay, so now this is about the Verichip, which all voice to scholars have. No, um, they can't just read your mind with electro electromagnetic fields. You have to be implanted. They cannot read your mind if you're not implanted, okay, you guys? Just wanted to reiterate that again, okay? All right. So the Verichip. The Verichip is an injectable ID chip that can be inserted under the skin of a human being and provide biometric verification and was manufactured by Applied Digital Solutions and is about the size of a grain of rice. Thus, my first two side x-ray videos where you can see right here is a grain of rice that is dark like my dental fillings because 
that's the very chip. All right, that's that's about all I have to talk about now. Um, I'm probably gonna post one more video today about a video I took in the dark last night when I was trying to go to sleep. And um, that's probably about it for today. I'm gonna try to post like at least one video a day from now on since I'm like stuck inside most of the time. I can't even have friends over really. So um, anyways, I'm gonna be dedicating my life to this for a while until until things calm down and get better. All right, so anyways, I hope all of you targeted individuals are having the best day you can. And just remember, God bless America. Peace out, you guys.